Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Elfin 20 journey carries on in honor of Dr. Reiner Stemme. Gulfstream G800 gets eighth city pair speed record. SpaceX's Falcon 9 logs 503 flight. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Elfin 20 journey carries on in honor of Dr. Reiner Stemme. The work of Elfin Aero founder Dr. Reiner Stemme, who passed on October 31, 2025, is already being reignited to honor the designer's years of dedication to the still unfinished Elfin 20, a high performance two seat self launching electric glider. Development of the prototype is well underway. Dr. Stemme spent more than six decades pursuing the concept of a glider that could launch itself, cruise efficiently, and retain the handling purity that soaring pilots crave. The idea became the technological backbone of the Stemme S10, which launched in 1990 and earned Stemme the Otto Lilienthal Medal. In the following decade, Stemme expanded his design efforts into new materials, improved aerodynamics, and increasingly refined propulsion systems. The final chapter of STEMI's design career was the Elfin. The electric, self-launching, side-by-side two-seater carried forward every major idea he had spent a lifetime perfecting. The aircraft uses a 65-kilowatt nose-mounted electric motor, a redesigned three-blade collapsible propeller, improved folding wings, and a modern battery system that supports over an hour of powered flight. With an optional range extender, the aircraft can cover up to 600 nautical miles. Even in his 80s, Stemme remained heavily involved in the Elfin 20's prototype development. According to Elfin Aero, the aircraft's first flight is planned for the second quarter of 2026, and the company intends to continue the work exactly as Stemme directed. After the break, DOT and FAA end flight reductions, normal ops can resume. It's time to upgrade your power plant to the first FAA certified clean sheet engine design in over 60 years. Delta Hawk's jet fuel powered liquid cooled turbocharged engine produces turbine performance at 40% better fuel efficiency of typical reciprocating engines, while also achieving exceptional reliability and significant reduction in cost of ownership. Reserve your engine package today at deltahawk.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. DOT and FAA end flight reductions, normal ops can resume. DOT Secretary Sean Duffy and FAA Administrator Brian Bedford announced that the FAA emergency order reducing flight numbers was terminated as of 6 a.m. on Monday, November 17th, and normal operations were permitted to resume across the national airspace system. The FAA safety team recommended the termination based on its detailed review of safety trends, as well as the steady drop in staffing trigger events at ATC facilities. Six NATO countries walk out on E7A wedgetail purchases. Multiple NATO partners have now abandoned a joint plan to purchase six Boeing E7A wedgetail aircraft, citing the loss of both strategic and financial foundations. The group was originally made up of eight, including the U.S., all looking to replace NATO's 14-strong fleet of EA-9 Sentry AWACS. Allies approved the wedge tail under the initial Allied Future Surveillance and Control Program in 2023, targeting operational service by 2031. The program began to fall apart after the U.S. Air Force withdrew from the wedge tail effort in June due to ballooning costs and survivability concerns. Air Senegal places first Boeing 737 MAX order. Boeing and Air Senegal announced that the airline has committed to order nine 737 MAX aircraft. When finalized, it will be the West African carrier's largest ever fleet purchase and its first order from Boeing since 2004. The aircraft will be used to support its regional and international expansion of service. 
The new 737-8s will enable Air Senegal to grow its network in Europe and to establish new routes from Dakar to the Americas and the Middle East. China rescues astronauts, strands another crew in the process. Three Chinese astronauts are back on Earth after a debris strike sidelined their return flight and forced an unplanned crew rotation. The Shenzhou-20 trio took the Shenzhou-21 spacecraft for their trip back to Earth, leaving the more recently arrived crew with no return vehicle. The three astronauts launched to the Tiangon station on April 24th and were supposed to return shortly after a replacement crew's arrival. However, after the spacecraft's window sustained a minor impact from tiny space debris, regulators determined that the Shenzhou-20 was unfit to return. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Gulfstream G800 gets 8th city pair speed record. Gulfstream Aerospace announced that its newly certified ultra-long-range G800 achieved its 8th city pair speed record on its flight from Phuket, Thailand to the Dubai Air Show 2025 in the UAE. The feat was accomplished in 5 hours and 38 minutes. This latest record brings the city pair speed record total for the Gulfstream fleet to over 760 and includes flights from Miami, Florida to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in 12 hours 33 minutes and Florence, Italy to Savannah, Georgia in 9 hours 33 minutes. The G800 is on display in Dubai along with the G700, which just exceeded 90 city pair speed records. Recent noteworthy flights by the G700 include Dubai to Sydney in 12 hours 50 minutes and Jakarta, Indonesia to Lagos, Nigeria in 12 hours 41 minutes. The G800 is the longest range aircraft in the Gulfstream fleet, capable of 8,200 nautical miles at its long range cruise speed of Mach 0.85 and 7,000 nautical miles at its high speed cruise of Mach 0.9. After these messages, SpaceX's Falcon 9 logs 500th reflight. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more detail. Welcome back. SpaceX's Falcon 9 logs 500th reflight. SpaceX checked off another benchmark this week by completing the 500th orbital launch mission using a reusable rocket booster. Falcon 9 lifted off at 12.21 a.m. on November 17th, sending Europe's Sentinel-6B ocean monitoring satellite into orbit from Vandenberg Space Force Base. The booster flying in this specific mission is fairly new compared to others, having been used twice before to ship Starlink satellites into orbit. Others have been broken in a little more, with some having flown more than a dozen times in their career. The record currently stands with the B-1067 booster, known as the King of the Falcon Boosters, at a total of 31 missions. SpaceX President and COO Gwen Shotwell said, quote, Congratulations to the SpaceX team on completing 500 missions with flight-proven rocket boosters. You've made the impossible possible with reusable rockets, paving the way to land huge amounts of cargo and lots of people to establish a permanent human presence on the moon and beyond with Starship, end quote. The Falcon 9 program was first flown in 2010 and has been reused routinely since 2017. It has been central to SpaceX's success, capable of facilitating multiple missions per week. The rocket earned a 500th title of its own back in July at the same time as B-1067 took its 29th flight. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.